Hello everyone, Jerome right here again with another yet another video. Okay, as you know through my other 14 videos here on YouTube on my Jeronification channel, I am decoding um, ancient artworks of reminis um, um, Renaissance artists. All right, this particular um, piece of artwork is by as of the is of the glorification, I believe, of the Eucharist um, by Salabrandi, um, Salam, Salamadini or Salamabini. Um, I guess there's two brothers. I don't know which brother that this one is by, whether it be Jacopo or Lorenzo Salamadini. Um, um, please forgive me for screwing up this, these Italian names, I would imagine. I guess they are. Um, anyway, to make a long story short, I'm here to point some things out to you in my decodings of this of this um of this art piece of artwork okay I want to show you some things about this that you possibly don't see um, what would you do if I told you that this right here this image was that of a seal this here was the head of a dinosaur um, this here was uh, well hold on this here was of a swordfish this here was of a whale. This here was of the Megalodon shark. Um, what else do we have here? Up here in the, uh, next to God, that would be the head of a bull. Um, over here next to Jesus would be something in the shape of a horse there. Um, I believe this, this red represents, I would imagine, a cardinal. Um, that cardinal there, his... Um, his 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 um his clothing appers, uh, um actually represents the face of a pig, and the cardinal hats comes off as a, a pig's ear. Um, in the lion, there are different encodings. Um, look at the seat that this I guess that a bishop is sitting on. The seat, the chair. The, the, look at the chair. The chair is in the head of uh, is the head of a pig. Look at that object right there. That's a pig. Um, also. These two um, subjects up here, which I believe is a is a monk and some kind of cardinal, or whatever. The cardinal, the shape of the cardinal, actually creates the head of a pig with a block in its mouth that's coming over towards this mantle here. Um, what else is there? I mean, there's. I mean, it's just this image is saturated with it, with everything. I'm gonna pull in my picture with the highlights that I've actually made. Oh, and um, we have a shark here right there I'm gonna pull in my drawings to show you what I can actually see here with the image I don't know if I have to back up or not okay let me take this down and I'm gonna show you what I can see these Renaissance artists what it all means is that these Renaissance artists thanks to ancient religion, actually had the blueprint to that of the cyclination and the creation of mankind. They knew all along how mankind was created and how mankind came to be. I'm going to back this up. Look at, look at, well, matter of fact, I'm going to leave it that close for a minute. Remember I told you there was a megalodon shark? Look how I filled that in even has the same coloring and all as the megalodon shark you can google the image now and look look how there's a serpent man right next to there right um showing you that that creature evolved from the shark look at this like serpent like creature here with the tip on his head like a worm okay that is in a lot of my decodings as well too another thing i want to call your attention to is this pope this Pope has like four faces. I'm going to bring back in the smaller image. If that. And see if I can give you. The Pope has four faces. I'm going to see if. Let me bring that in. To be closer up. Look at the Pope's face there. I'm going to bring it in so I can show you here. So I want you to. When you Google this image. As, as I encourage you to do. I want you to Google the image. And look at the face. 
there's like four faces there. There's one face there. There's another there. There's another here. And then the third will be looking up. Look at that. You can see how funny the face looks. There's four faces there, and it shows you an evolutionary state of the faces, and then it shows that um, the dove, I guess, flying into the face. But look how look how whacked out that face looks. And when you Google the image, I encourage you to actually take and um, and um, and zoom in on that and split the faces, and you'll get the same thing that I have. There's four faces in that one of that pope. Okay. Um, this image here. Notice how I made that image into a pig with a block in its mouth. You don't see that when unless I actually showed it to you. It's actually two two men um, clergy standing next to each other. There's an image of a, like a monk and then like a pope like um image there right next to it. But their bodies this is this is the style the uh, the encoded encrypted styles of these Renaissance artists. They would use the clothing and the bodies to create the image of the creature that they are actually portraying the genetics um, um, that have taken um, the passage of the genetics of these creatures. I'm going to back up a little bit again. Remember I told you that the cardinal's clothes over here created that of a pig? This is the cardinal's clothes right here. His head is there. And look how his hat creates the ear, I mean the ear of the pig. There's the face of the pig in the cardinal's clothes. Down here. Let me come back. I can't go back no more. Down here. Again, in the clothing, in the wardrobe, it creates the head of a dinosaur. There's the behemoth right there, the legendary behemoth. Um, this creates a seal, the image of a seal. Here's the, here's the whale that I told you about. Look at the whale. There's the whale. Shows you where the clergy has his hands at the whale's mouth, and then in the in, in the um, in the clergy's hat and his um and I guess a popal cap, there's an image of a shark created. Notice that all of these creatures that I'm pointing out actually have the coloring of the creatures that I'm actually naming. Here is a swordfish, the image of a swordfish right there. Okay, um, what else there is unique about this? The pig at the chair. Look at the pig. This is the bench. Okay. Google that image. Look at that there. The megalodon shark. In the mountain ranges, there are faces you can show shown evolving back. Okay. I mean, the image is saturated. I didn't even get up here to Jesus and I'm yet. Jesus in the image of God. Down in the line, in the body of the lion. Zoom in on the body, you will see an image of apes in the, in the lion's body. And images, you see these images that I have right here? You can see them actually passing through the lion. Look at the lion's face. This is the most um, distinctive um, 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 image that you can actually pull up on. The lion's face is actually in half, and you can see these beings evolving through the lion's face. Notice how I have that there? Can you... Oh, I'm not even down there, so one of you, you won't be able to see nothing if I, oh gosh, I, I have to bring that up some, hold on, I don't want to drop nothing here, I'm up here, steady explaining the way, and I'm not even there, I'm going to go up a little bit higher so you can see that line, and I'm going to run out of time here, I want you to see, look at that line in that image, the line is shown with beings morphing through it. I thought I was just showing that to you, but I wasn't. And I'm going to bring that in closer again. Okay. The lion's face, you'll be able to notice once you Google the image, notice that half of his face is showing a man coming in through his face. In the body of the lion, you'll see like a gargoyle. Look at these images, people. I'm telling you that what is happening here is that these are secret encodings that show how mankind came into existence. Look at what I have here. This is the truth. This is not this is this this is not no pretending anything here. This is the real deal. 
this is the real deal. And you need to actually pay attention to what I have here. I'm telling you people that this thing is as serious as it gets. All my videos are the same way. Look how the people look out look how beings morph out of the dark matter back here. And they're actually shown coming in. Look at everything that I have there, people. Up here where um the image of God is, there's sharks up here. Um, I just show, I showed you that there's a bull up, up there. I'm, again, I'm, I'm all out of. The, let me bring the smaller image back in because it looks like I, I got a few more minutes. I guess so we're good here. But I don't think I missed nothing down here. Did you get Did you get a good look at that? Let me Let me come on back down again. I'm gonna come down. Let me come back down. And I'm going to show, explain some things to you down here. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to. Okay. Down there, where the, image of, where the image of God is there, there are sharks and cloud matter up here. Okay. In the lighted areas of his kneecap and his foot, you will see beings that are actually there. There's, I have it, I think I have it highlighted for you. I think you can be able to see that there. There's actually a bull under his hand there. His hand at, on this antenna, on this sphere, is in the shape of a man. The way his hands is held, it creates the image of a man. I noticed that Jesus' hand in this antenna is in the shape of a triangle, which, um, which represents in Christianity fertility. Okay? And the body over here now you can see a lot of this stuff that i have on my um my alien ufo site okay and you can um you can catch me there as well too and i'm there on alien ufos dreams and experiences okay a lot of my stuff re referring to what i'm putting here now in video is actually there i can only put but so much here for you to actually see in this short period of time. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put where you can actually find me at here. And this information is all there, people. And what I have here is the real deal. And this is where you can find me at on YouTube on Jeronification. Or you can Google my name, Jerome Wright. And a few options that come up of I am an alien and so are you. The site is Alien UFOs, Dreams and Experiences. Okay? And um, any one of my videos here on YouTube will actually send you to that information as well. So I'm going to take this away. I want you to look at this image again. And I'm going to pull it back. And I encourage you to Google this image. The glorification of the hierarchies. It should come up once you put the glorification and then go with the E. It should come up automatically, okay? And go to the image. You probably have to download it, and then you can take and um and enlarge it and look at. Now that I showed you the images, I want you to look at the Pope's this Pope's face. This is the most incredible thing about all of this. How he actually has three faces. You will see his first face. Then right around his, his his mouth area, just above his um his top lip, his faces start changing, and you see them morphing, and it actually goes all up into the face up over here. There's like four faces there, so look at that. But there's the megalodon shark. There's um um what I would call like a reptilian man, look like with a with a mask on, like almost like a wrestler's mask. Then you see another creature here. Everything that I have highlighted here, you would actually see the whale. All of these encodings represent, on both sides, represents a cyclonation on how mankind came to be and from what creatures that he was created from. Now, what's incredible about this, you probably say, oh, no, nah, that's a, there, there's not no coincidence in seeing no pig here in no cardinal's outfit. Then uh, um, over here, the, 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 um, they're sitting on a pig over here as a bench. Okay, and then the um, the two um, clergy over here, their bodies come together and create a pig, and then you see a a what you call them, a um 
um, a building block in his mouth. And I, and, uh, ironically, I just did another video yesterday where there is a pig with a building block in his mouth, meaning, you know, meaning a building block of life. You know what I mean? A genetic blueprint. And that's what this is as well as too. It's a genetic blueprint on how you were created. Now, I'm going to stop the video with that because I should be out of time. But again, I'll see you in my next video. Look at these images. I'll be back in my next video. Thank you.